A significant portion of the land that is now the Netherlands was once oceanic. The windmill, which was a product of land reclamation, is the most well-known landmark in the Netherlands. In Holland, windmills, which were originally constructed to pump water from dike regions, have become popular places for tourists to visit. The Netherlands is known for its picturesque tulip fields, canals that serve as city streets, and dikes that have been converted into cycling paths. This very small country is home to a number of interesting destinations. Because of the country's odd topography, it has its own unique culture, which the Dutch are proud to share with visitors to their museums and old towns. Use our list of the greatest locations to visit in the Netherlands to help you plan out your vacation. Amsterdam's Museums There is a good reason for the popularity of Amsterdam's museums. The rich museum contains works of art and artifacts in more than 250 rooms. Sculptures, paintings, and relics are some of the things that can be found in the collections. Those interested in art should also check out the Van Gogh Museum and the Rembrandt House Museum. A visit to the location where Anne Frank hid from the Nazis while they occupied Amsterdam is an absolute must. Visitors can learn about Jewish refugees in Amsterdam as well as see how they lived during their time there. The Resistance Museum, Burzet's Museum, explores Nazi-era resistance. The Jewish Historical Museum in Amsterdam is where religious relics can be found. Both the Het Sheep Art Museum and the Amsterdam Museum present research that examines Amsterdam's place in the history of both the Netherlands and the world. The Nieuwe Science Museum is an excellent place for families to explore, as is the Museum of the Tropics, Tropen Museum, Vincent van Gogh's old haunts. Vincent van Gogh was born in Zundert, which is located about 15 kilometers south of Breda. The original house that his family lived in is no longer there, but the garden is still there and the Vincent van Gogh House Museum is located there. The old Dutch Reformed Church, in which the sculptor's father served as a minister, is the setting for the statue created by the artist. There is a statue of him in Ettenloer, the town where he first began his career. Van Gogh Village is 8 kilometers from Eindhoven. The artist lived in a restored pastor's house from 1883 to 1885, during which time it was open to the public for tours. Nearly two dozen of his former hangouts are visited during the self-guided tour. Van Gogh's paintings, drawings, etchings, and letters are on display at the Van Gogh Museum in Amsterdam, which you should see after touring the artist's former haunts. The potato eaters and the vase with sunflowers are two well-known pieces that can be found in museums. His life and work are recounted in the Meet Vincent van Gogh Experience, a multimedia presentation. Informational kiosks with audio presentations can be found at a number of locations related to van Gogh. Dutch Windmills Kinderdijk, near Rotterdam, is a popular photo spot. The oldest windmill that is currently on display dates back to the year 1722. In contrast to most other windmills, these ones were constructed to ward off flooding. During mill days, which are held at each UNESCO World Heritage Site. Visitors can watch the mill's sails turn. This windmill first opened its doors to the public as a museum in 1743. Visitors can learn about mill operation and maintenance by exploring the miller's quarters and examining the various tools. The windmills of the Netherlands are given their proper place in history thanks to this museum. Zantz, a medieval village near Amsterdam, has better maintained windmills. The Cat, De Cat, which was constructed in 1646 with the purpose of processing dyes, is still in operation. De Kroon Divelzeer, Zontai Museum, and Zons Museum are must-sees. Delft Windmill de Roost was built in 1679. Traditional fishing villages of the Zuiderzee Inlet. Enkhuizen, a medieval fishing village, sits on the Iselmeer, the inlet's central lake. The town is well known for its waterside homes, churches built in the 15th century, and fortifications. The Zuiderzee Museum is by far the most frequented tourist destination. The museum delves into the history of the region as a fishing port and a maritime trade hub, and it showcases traditional vessels and tools. The museum features numerous buildings from the 16th century that have been restored. Near Amsterdam is yet another historic fishing community known as Volendam. This picturesque town is known for its colorful row houses, the Volendam's Museum, and the historic ships that are docked in the harbor. Nearby, the smaller but lovely village of Marken sits on a peninsula, offering an even more authentic experience. Both of these villages can easily be visited on a day trip from Amsterdam. 
Tulip Fields of Flevoland Province The majority of the Netherlands tulips are grown in the Flevoland Province, and mid-April through May is the best time of year to catch them in full bloom. Commercial flower-producing fields can be found along the northwestern coast of the Netherlands, occupying the swath of land between Alkmaar and The Hague. Kuchenhof Gardens, located near Leiden, is the most visited destination for flower lovers, with more than 7 million blooms each year. This is the world's largest public flower garden, covering more than 70 acres and growing over 700 varieties of tulips. Visitors will also find daffodils, crocuses, and hyacinths among the gardens. Tourists who aren't visiting the Netherlands in the spring will still have an easy time finding tulips and other flowers thanks to indoor growing, and the collections at Kuchenhof can be admired year-round. Historic Harlem An enjoyable day trip from Amsterdam can be had by traveling to the city of Harlem, which is located only a short distance away. The Grote Markt, which is the city's primary market square, serves as the epicenter of Harlem's historic district. The old city hall, which was constructed in the 13th century, is regarded as one of the most remarkable buildings. The Gothic Street Bavelkirk Church dates back to the 14th century and is located nearby. Grote Kirk. Both of these buildings have breathtaking interiors, as well as imposing towers. One of the most well-known buildings is the Vliesel, also known as the Meat Hall. It was constructed in the Northern Renaissance style, and it is now a part of the Frans Halls Museum. Castles of the Netherlands Castile de Haar is one of the most famous Dutch castles. It's more famous for its size and grandeur than its age, and it's infamous for displacing an entire village. The 135-acre Enchanted Castle is open for tours and hosts Christmas events throughout the year. In Eldsvillen, visitors can see the 13th-century Zeilen Castle, rebuilt in the 1510s. Brina's Castel von Breda has been a residence for nobility and royalty since the 12th century. The current structure began as a fortified castle in 1530 and grew over the centuries. This structure includes a large library, palace gardens, the Royal Military Academy, and the twin towers of Blockwis and Spanjardsgat. Leiden Castle was built as a defensive structure in the 11th century. It's been a public park since the 17th century but one of the canal moats remains. Visitors can walk the same path centuries used to patrol the walls while taking in stunning views of Leiden. 13th century Duvenvoord Castle is nearby, Castile Duvenvoord. This magnificent palace is on beautiful grounds and has informative exhibits about its history and long-standing occupant family. 8. Living History Museums The Netherlands Open Air Museum is a popular tourist attraction near Arnhem. It was founded in 1912 to preserve Dutch history and culture. It features Dutch homes, workshops, and windmills. Interpreters in period guard portray fishermen, farmers, and craftsmen from bygone eras. Several laborers' houses present the day-to-day -day activities of a typical family from 1870 to 1970, as well as experiences from decades and centuries ago. Visitors can also ride an old-fashioned tram and view multimedia exhibits. The museum hosts unique events throughout the year. The Zuiderzee Museum in Enkhuizen recreates a 1905 fishing village for visitors to explore. Watching traditional cooking demonstrations, learning early fishing techniques, and touring homes are highlights. The Zantschans Open Air Museum is easily accessible by train from Amsterdam. It's perfect for tourists with limited time. 9. Gothic Churches a significant number of Dutch cities are characterized by the presence of Gothic church towers. The Grote Kirk, also known as the Great Church of Breda, was constructed in 1290 and features late Gothic choir stalls. The 1509 Tower, which stands 97 meters tall, is its most distinguishing characteristic. Subsequent additions display Renaissance-style architecture. The following are some of Delft's Gothic churches. The Oude Kirk was established in 1250 and features a coastal Gothic tower that is 75 meters in height. The roof of the building is shaped like a pyramid, and the tower is slanted. Between the years 1396 and 1486, construction took place on the new church. The Gothic Tower of the Church, which stands 108 meters tall and overlooks marked, provides visitors and photographers with an excellent vantage point. Groke Kirk, also known as Street Bevokirk, is a late Gothic church that was built in Harlem in the 14th century. The Muller organ and the stunning interior make the Basilica a must-visit. 
This instrument with 5,000 pipes was played by both Mozart and Handel. The Romanesque Gothic Martinikirk in Groningen, which features a vaulted Gothic choir, was built in the 11th and 12th centuries. The 96-meter tower in Grummingen provides visitors with breathtaking panoramas of the Grote Markt. Hoge Velu National Park The Netherlands' largest park is Hoge Velu. It's in the middle of the country, 8 kilometers from Arnheim and 13,750 acres. The private nature reserve was originally a hunting park. It's now a habitat for wild boar, deer, birds, and the rare mufflon, a wild sheep breed. Well-maintained trails and paths allow visitors to explore the park on foot or by bike. The park's flat, well-marked paths are easy to navigate. The Crawler Muller Museum's art gallery and sculpture park are in the park. Hoos Farder Splassen is a photogenic nature reserve 50 kilometers from Amsterdam. Wild conic horses, a breed first seen in Poland, are a popular attraction in this area. Egrets, black storks, cormorants, and other wetland birds attract visitors. If this video is helpful and enjoyable to you, don't forget to subscribe to us and comment below. Have a nice day.